I am Lauren Lyle, and I play Rona in Mercy Falls. So Mercy Falls is a horror psychological thriller about a bunch of people that end up going on a big hike into the Scottish Highlands as a group of good mates and suddenly everyone starts to die. Rona is sort of the leader of the gang. Uh, she's got everyone on this hike and we're off to try and find her late father's cabin that has been left to her. Um, and I think when you think of a cabin in the woods, you're probably in for a dark surprise. And she sort of bands everyone together to go and search for it. And that's when everything starts to go wrong. And she begins this, the film as a quite a meek, uh, not a natural leader and uh, kind of neurotic and not well planned. And she ends the film as a sort of dominating leader and totally psychologically changed into someone quite messed up and um, a bit of a cold-blooded fighter and killer and uh, changed entirely as a person. When Ryan asked me to do the film, I was really drawn to it because of his script and I loved the script and I um, was really excited about the drama and the um, sort of chase of the whole thing. And I hadn't done a horror film before, so that was really appealing and um, getting to lead that and do a lot of the sort of darker side of things and see such a huge change in a character. He's been a real anchoring force and he's got a real um, gentle but collaborative, firm way of working and I've always felt very checked in with him and I've always felt that we've communicated and been in communication the whole time. So when you're in every single day together, um, it sort of bridges that gap between cast and crew and he feels like he really tries to merge everyone and I like to do that as well. Um, so it felt like together we managed to sort of do that quite quickly and then um, form a really good relationship. I feel supported as well by him. Some memorable scenes would be some of the fight scenes that we did. That was really good fun to sort of fight Nicolette to the death and we really enjoyed rehearsing that together and getting it into sort of a choreographed routine um, and go a bit mad with each other. So that was good fun and it felt strong and um, it was fun to do two women doing that on screen. I don't think you see that very often. Locations have been cold, <laughs> really cold. Um, we've seen some like, spectacular Scottish landscapes, uh, some mountains, um, and I think when I signed up to the film, I didn't consider how much hiking we'd be doing for a hiking film. We've done loads of hiking and loads of running, and I forget that you have to do that over and over and over. So we've all got quite fit from it as well. I guess you've got to just have quite a lot of energy to to sort of sustain every single day out in the cold and then the like elements like you are. We were shot in like essentially winter in Scotland and to shoot in the elements of that for such a long time, concentrated sort of every day, I don't know, 14 hours a day. Um, yeah, you have to try and find sleep where you can, but you're not really getting much sleep. So you do need the support of each other to do it. But I think mentally I just go into a place of like, this is how much time we've got and you just got to like keep going and do it for that amount of time. And then I've got really good at training myself to do 20 minute naps. So that's what the army do, I believe, is 20 minute nap. That's the prime amount of time and recharge and then go. Yeah, it's really exciting carrying a film like that. It's um, daunting, I suppose, because you know that you've got to take it from some very sort of different place to where you end up. And it's up to you and your change and your character to sort of take it there. Um, but as an actor, that's like such a privilege of a challenge. Um, and you don't always get that sort of as young women as well. You don't always get to do something like that. Um, so I really enjoyed the, the challenge of it. And I felt quite supported by the other cast members because 
um, they all just started to die. So they had to try and keep up their energy knowing that they were getting killed off. Whereas I at least knew I got some revenge at the end. Yeah. <laughs>